of YouTube, I want to share some scriptures that's going to have leadership somewhat, uh, Matthew 23 and 3 John. Um, 23, 34 in Matthew, it talks about God sending, this is Jesus talking personally, he's sending prophets and wise men and scribes, and he's telling them that some of them ye shall kill and crucify, and some of them ye shall scourge in your synagogues, they, they persecute, they throw people out of their churches, they persecute them from city to city, and then verse 37 talks about Jerusalem now that killeth the prophets and stoneth them which are sent unto them. See, I've, many, you know, you study the Bible, and yeah, that's Old Testament, but this is New Testament, okay? They're still doing it. This is something going on. They, they might not uh, murder you, per se, but they'll murder your name or uh, throw you out of the church. I know, I know, uh, at least one prophet that they've done this to. And, you know, there's more. I, You know, things that we've experienced. And it's, some of it's stemmed from carnality. A lot of it is from stupidity. And a lot even more is from lack of spiritual growth. Okay? People get into these positions of leadership. And then now they think they are the man and they can do this and that. And God says no. Okay, but I'm just going to, this is a mini Bible study, but Third John, um, it's only one chapter. Uh, verse 9, I wrote unto the church, this is, now John is, um, John is the father. I mean, he is like the grandfather, you know, he's like the last apostle. This is like 90 AD time, and he's like old, and he's getting ready to go up to heaven. He's writing this to the baby churches, the little, you know, the churches. I wrote unto the church, but di Diotrephes, who loved to have their preeminence among them, received us not. How would you be like, like to be that Diotrephes? He's in some kind of leadership, and he, he's, he's dealing with one of the original apostles of the Bible, and he's not having it. See, it's that spirit, and I've personally seen this spirit moving through the churches. Okay, verse ten. Wherefore I. If I come, I will remember his deeds, which he doeth, pratting against us with malicious words, and not content therewith, not content with what God's called him to do. Now he's, he's, he's going out of his bounds of authority, or wherever authority he has. It doesn't specify. It doesn't matter at this point. He's not, re, he's not uh, taking the correction from one of the apostles, original apostles. There's many apostles. Neither doth he himself receive the brethren, and forbidding them that would. What's he forbidding? This is the main thing of what God was put on my heart this morning. They're forbidding. What are they forbidding? What is the main thing that you're supposed to do? They're supposed to cultivate a relationship where the new believers come in, all of them, and the relationship is upwards with God and him with them. Now they're they're getting in the way of that because they have a position, maybe a little bit higher above the people, and they're blocking it. And John's talking about and forbidding them that would. See, that is a big no-no. And casting them out of the church. See, <laughs> yes, you know, leaders, they, they really, they really get, it, it, it all goes back to, not knowing the scriptures, I've talked about the high priest's error. He became Antichrist. Uh, John is trying to correct this leader. Okay, So this is for leadership. And it's easy to get off track. It's easy. Satan, he's had thousands of years to do this to people. We've only, what, I'm 52, 51. You know, most people are in that age bracket. And it's easy to get off track course off center and but now God brings like an arrow pinpoint accuracy sometimes with some prophets that are very you know straight up right on point and some so broad but it's like an arrow it's he's 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 correcting he's getting people in alignment okay and your best friend is going to be that 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 old book called the Bible because that's where you're going to find the spirit of Jesus Christ if you, okay, 
cultivate that upward relationship, okay? And I'm talking to the leaders. You know, you're in a position. He's God has given you that position, okay? And you are to, as you grow, you ought to be the chief dude that, uh, not, not, not the boss, not the, but the one that sacrifices the most to Jesus Christ and let the people see it because that's how they learn, okay? And I'm supposed to be doing this stuff that this diatre, what's his name, diatrephius, you know, okay? So, uh, this video went over a little bit, but I think God got his point across. Uh, this is, I'm feeling this is for somebody. This is going to help a lot of people, but this is for somebody. I, I, I really, I don't know who you are, but I feel it. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. So, um, I don't have anything else to say. I guess this video is over. Um, beloved, verse 11, I'll leave with this one. Beloved, uh, follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He that doeth good is of God, but he that doeth evil hath not seen God. Okay? So, this video is over. God bless you. I hope this helps somebody.